Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I am going to talk about using your gel plate to create something other than collage papers. I am going to be printing and decorating 8x10 envelopes for my Italy packets. So my Italy packet is something that I ship via airmail from Italy that includes some hand-painted papers from our workshop, an Italian marbled paper painted in Orvieto or Florence or somewhere fun in Italy um, that I'll pick up along the way, a, an original watercolor from my sketchbook, and some Italian printed ephemera, so some Italian printed book pages and old letters or whatever I can find while I'm over there, and a personal note from me about the trip. So I put together this packet in an 8 by 10 or 8 and a half by 11 envelope and I airmail it to you from Italy. Now you can still purchase this packet and I will provide a link below. It's kind of a fun thing to get in the mail. But what I'm going to do to make it even more exciting is to decorate my 8 and a half by 11 envelopes with my gel plate. I'm going to do mono printing on the fronts of the envelopes and I'm going to show you how to reserve out of space for your address and how to get some great layering kind of colorful effects and you can use this for small note card envelopes or your own large size envelopes. It's just another way to put some color and some fun out in the world with your gel plate, mono printing plate. So let's go check that out. Welcome back. So today we're going to do those awesome envelopes for the Italy packet. Um, you could use them for uh, all kinds of things. Uh, but the, the products that we're going to be using are uh, some uh, painter's tape so that we can stick it down to the envelope and pull it off without ruining the, um, the envelope. My, uh, my 8x10 uh, gel press reusable uh, mono printing plate. And uh, my brayer, I finally found the one that doesn't squeak, so a uh, hard or a soft brayer for sp spreading paint on the plate. Um, I've got some golden fluid acrylics. I've set out uh, a light, a uh, medium, and a darker color. So starting with Indian yellow to pyrrole orange to quinacridone magenta. So three tones, uh, any three colors you like, but light, medium, and dark. Um, and then I've got a 9 by 12 stencil and my gel plate. So. Um, I, I've got the uh, envelope, I taped off the envelope. So how I did for the return address is I wrapped it over so I didn't take up tons of space up there. And then I used two pieces right here. Now if you're meticulous in particular, you could cut the tape to have a perfect square. But I kind of like the idea of sort of the painterly edge because this is going to be a fun painted surface. Um, but that's sort of up to you. Uh, but that's what the painter's tape is going to save these spots for white, which is your best bet when addressing. Um, and since these are going to be coming from Italy, I want them to be nice and clear and easy to read. So, because Italian post is uh, unpredictable. So we're going to start with a the light color. So I'm going to put out the Indian yellow on my gel plate, a few drops, sort of drizzle it on there and spread it around in a nice thin layer with my brayer. And I'm going to use that to give myself a nice base coat of yellow on this envelope. Now, the easiest way to do it would just be to straight forward it, but we could we could do it on an angle and then angle another color on the other side. We could get a little creative with our base coat is my, is my thought. And it doesn't have to be everywhere on the envelope either. So have a little fun with that, but start with a light layer and sort of, um, you could also add rubber stamps to this, um, other mark making tools. But uh, so now I've got sort of a light layer of yellow and I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and put another yellow onto it. So I'm gonna use this I can't even pronounce it, benzamidazolone yellow. Um, that's a more of a canary yellow. So I'm going to roll that out and sort of include that in with my Indian yellow base coat. So I'm going to put that in some of the other corners there and here. And I've got a pretty good base coat there. So I'm going to just take another envelope to sort of... Uh, get all the paint off of this. You could use a scrap piece of paper, but you want to sort of clear it so that you can start with the next color. So there we go. And that's kind of interesting. And that would be a great collage paper. So now I've got my base layer and now I'm going to go to that darker medium color. So I'm going to use pyrrole orange with the same process. I'm going to drizzle it out on the plate, brayer it in. No more squeaky brayer. 
I found the one that I misplaced. Um, if you've been watching these tutorials, you've been listening to a squeaky brayer for a few weeks. Um, so I've got that. Um, now I'm going to put my 9 by 12 stencil. So I've got the paint and I'm going to put my 9 by 12 stencil right into the paint. And now I'm going to take the envelope and put it right over the stencil. So just like you would use stencil to create collage paper, you're going to be making a collaged envelope. Wow, this is cool. So I'm going to add a little more pressure if I see that it hasn't picked up all the paint from the plate. And now I've got this stencil over the whole envelope. Now, this is a pretty light color and it's dry. So while we've got the ghost print going on under the stencil, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on this and see if we can maybe address it in the yellow with a black pen. Probably wouldn't be that hard to read. So I'm gonna put the two pieces on here for my address line. I'm gonna put the one piece in the upper left corner for my return address and fold it over the top so it's not giant. Now I'm going to lift the stencil to reveal the paint that's trapped underneath and then very quickly I'm going to transfer it onto my prepared light yellow envelope. So this is the ghost print. And now I've got the ghost print of the orange on the yellow as well as the first print of the orange on the yellow. So now we're going to just take the tape off to reveal an area that we can address. And I like the way that it's not perfectly uh, square edged. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to take this off of the return address area. And this tape is not supposed to stick, although I would not leave it on for days. Whoops, it just pulled some, some uh, of the paper there. Um, so be careful taking it off um, and don't leave it on too long. So let's try this one again, see if we can get the corner off without tearing it so much. There we go. The key is to be gentle. Perfect. And then This is gonna reveal the yellow area. It's not white, it's yellow, but I think if we use a black pen, we'll be good there. So you've got two different versions. You've got one where you've just got sort of a nice yellow open space in here. Um, you could stay with light colors and probably be fine addressing on the, on the yellow. And then we've got one that is really high contrast that's got a nice white space for addressing and return addressing. So two different eight by 11 envelopes for mailing my Italy packet done with a straightforward stencil. Um, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will consider purchasing an Italy packet so that one of these envelopes can make its way from Tuscany to you. Mm -hmm.